is a four stereo channel performance mixer designed to connect all together iPad, drum machine, synthesizer, MP3 player and any studio equipment to be mixed with a modular gear. You can connect any line level or modular, stereo or mono sources in any of four channels. With the jumpers on back side you can define whenever the channel is stereo or mono. Four black knobs act as the faders with the endless rotation. Clockwise rotation increases channel's volume. Counterclockwise rotation decreases volume. The LED near each knob shows by its brightness how high the volume is. When the LED is green, the channel is on. By short press of black knob, appropriate channel becomes immediately muted and LED becomes red. You can adjust the volume even when the channel is muted by rotating the knob and looking at the brightness of LED. The volumes of all channels are stored when you turn off the power of your modular. Channels 1 and 2 are ordinary stereo channels. Channels 3 and 4 are identical to 1 and 2, however, can also accept 4-pin TRRS cable. That cable is supplied with cockpit to be used with the Apple iOS devices to utilize iPad or iPhone as effect processor with the audio feed into external microphone input. So far, input of channel 2 is sent into microphone input of channel 4 and channel 1 is sent into the channel 3, as written on the panel. For example, we have a raw sequence from ground terminal at channel 1 and iPad connected with the TRRS cable into channel 3. You can use any inter-audio app or plug-in effect for iPad to process the sound from the channel 1. Channel 1 knob will act as a dry level of original signal and channel 3 knob will act as the wet level of the effect. Blue knob is the final output volume of corresponding output stereo jack. From that jack you can record your mix into the sound card or camera as well as connect headphones or PA monitors. Cockpit has a built-in ducking compressor. On a module power up, you may notice how many times blue LED will blink. Amount of blinks defines the number of the mode. You can change the mode by pressing four black knobs for the one second simultaneously. Red knob controls compressor parameter depending on the mode. Blue LED shows compression level. There are three compressor modes. In the first mode, sidechain jack accepts positive CV from 0 to plus 5 volts. The best example it is output from the envelope. Pressing the black knob for one second enables compressor control of that channel. Afterwards, you will see short blinking LED. That means the channel is controlled by a sidechain. The more you apply CV, the more channel volume drops with the ratio defined by a red knob. 
That feature is widely used at radio stations and afterwards intentionally in techno music to bring so-called pumping. Here we have the same sequence plays from Grand Terminal on channel 1 and drums play on channel 3. We use the MIDI clock from the drum machine divided by the shuttle control by 24, so the clock matches with the kick drum. Kick drum plays simple 4 on the floor beat. Then clock triggers the envelope and the output of the envelope is applied into the side chain CV. Attack is set to the minimal amount. We tweak blue decay and dread compressor knobs to obtain the pumping on channel 1. Long hold on channel 1 knob disables that amplitude pumping. Second mode is essentially the same as the first one. The only difference is that the side chain CV input accepts one volt peak to peak line level audio with envelope forward enabled. Channel's volume can be controlled by applying, for example, bass or snare drums. Third mode is different from two previous because side chain CV accepts clock. You can also apply any trigger from drum machine, for example ring shot output from Roland TR9 or clap output of MSB drum machine. Under incoming clock, cockpit generates falling ramp with zero attack. Red knob defines the decay time of that envelope. We set ducking amount for every channel separately by pressing and turning corresponding black knob. When you hold the knob for a long, the LED becomes orange and brightness of that orange LED shows the amount of ducking applied. Ladies and gentlemen, thanks for choosing Endorphin Sailways. We have certainly enjoyed having you on board with us.